Hi everybody, my name is Daniel St. Germain. I'm going to do this real fast. My phone only gives me about seven minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the scripture first on two sets of Jews. The true chosen people of God from the beginning and the imposters. Straight scripture, straightforward, right now. Get your pens ready. Everything I'm going to tell you in this little synopsis that I'm going to give you for the fake Jews. You're going to be looking for Genesis 10, the land of Ashkah. You're going to refer also to John 8, 43 through 45. Matthew 13, 15. Matthew 13, 38. Acts 13, 10. 2 Corinthians 11.30 and 1 John 3.15 Revelations 2.9 and Revelations 3.9 Those two last ones are going to mention I know your troubles and those who say they are Jews but are not but check all those scriptures after I give a synopsis believe no man the next is the true Hebrew Israelite Jews, the chosen people of God. I'm going to go to Deuteronomy 28, 64 through 72. Jeremiah 30, 8, 10. Zephaniah 3, 19 through 20. Zechariah 7, 13, 8, 7, 8, 13, and 10, 5. Here's the true story. In Genesis 10, you're going to find the land of Ashkar. Those are recognized as the snake people, demon worshippers of that day. Continue reading on through there and trace that line. They lived, Ashkar was and is still in the area of southwest Russia, far north of Israel and to the east. These people are white. Race will matter here in a minute. They converted 500 years before Christ's time. They moved into Israel's area at that time into the tribe of the Levites, the lawmakers. About 200 years in, about 300 years before Christ, they were so mixed that nobody knew. These people were genuine converts, converted Judaism, Judaism. But they are not blood. The people were sincere, so don't get me wrong. And the people today of the white Jewish race, of the Ashkenazi Jew, which they have descended or have grafted themselves in from European Jews. They're not fake as far as their faith goes for the most part, but they are deceived. They don't even know their own heritage. These people changed the laws about 300 years before Christ by being in the Levite tribe and being there for a half a dozen generations. They now were mixed up. There was a couple of evil families in there at the top. These are the descendants and the people today we know are the Rothschilds, Warburg, Schiffs, and Drexels. They passed laws for the shekel at that time, took over the currency of the temple, bringing the people into slavery to them by debt. Jesus came and whipped them, the only violence he ever used. He then spoke to them on several occasions, you're going to find in Matthew, John, and Acts, where he says, you cannot understand me because you're from the synagogue of Satan. You are from your father the devil. And then we'll wrap up here with they were and 2.9 and 3.9 in Revelations. God is telling them, I know your troubles. And those who call them Jews who are not. Follow me on this race thing. I'm not a racist. I love all people. I hold nothing against anybody. Everybody can be saved if they come before the throne. But that's for you to do and I'm not here to try to preach salvation. 
Christianity. I am not preaching. I am not a Christian. I am not a Jew. I am not a Muslim. I claim no faith. In this day we shall worship in spirit and stay with him only because the lies are so deep and he will unveil these things to you also. I am nobody special. Matter of fact, I'm worse than most of you. Matter of fact, I think I'm the scum of the earth over the years. But he has risen me and shown me these things over the 52 years of my life. Now, to the real Hebrew Israelites. You're going to refer to Deuteronomy 28, 64-68. He is reprimanding and passing judgment on the Israelites for the wrongs that they did. And they did wrong. And they get their judgment. And they have suffered it. He sent them into ships, by ships, into bondage. Scattered. So they would never know their land again, it says. That they will never know who their God is. And God shall turn his back on them. They never knew who they were. The Jews today happen to have heritage and they know who they are, but it violates everything that we're going to look at in your scriptures of Deuteronomy, Jeremiah, Zephariah, Zechariah. Because it's not supposed to be established by men. It's supposed to be established by God. In the end, he said he would wake them up. You're going to find in Jeremiah and Zechariah that these people who were taken by ship into bondage and scattered throughout the lands never to be seen again, never to know who they are again, would not be awoken until the end times. Today, my friends, we are in the end times. The time of great sorrows and tribulations begins this month. I'm not even going to get into everything. If you don't know your scripture enough to know about the Shemitah, the Jubilee, these are the 70th on those, it's the 70th uh, convening of the UN, you got your blood moon on the 28th, you get the Star of David appearing. 2,000 years later, which is Mars, coming out on the 27th. You have the Pope meeting the kings, which is all over your Old Testament and, and New Testament, the revelations. You need to get your scripture and stop listening to your preachers. They're well intended, but they've been misled, and their father's misled, and this is getting pretty sickening. And God is upset. Leave it all and look to him. Muslim, Jew, and Christian, drop it. Go straight to your word. Go straight to God and let him unravel this mess. These people who went by ship, when you read that in detail, it tells details of being raped, to, to be borrowers, there will never be a lender. It gets into such great detail as only one race on the planet in the history of man this could be. And I'm not going to tell you. But we also have the splitting in 70 A.D., of the Hebrew Israelites and the converted Jews. The white converted Jews who are sincere are going to continue to say that for the most part. It's these higher up evil ones who have used them and had them murdered over the years as a front to keep on with their evil plan. This is the wave. Picture a surfer on a wave. He is ridden this wave of debt and currency and passing laws that can't be adhered to and in capturing people in debt and imprisoning them since the beginning and he's ridden that wave to today and it's all over friends it's done you show me a country that we have an enemy to here in America and a country we had to invade and we continue to have to invade and I will show you countries that did not have a private central bank of these scum these evil disgusting perverted people who have warped our, warped our God who have warped our society that's who they are the poor people over there in Israel today who are fighting, I don't say they're poor, they're murdering over there. But they don't even know who they are. They think they're descendants. Ask anybody, who, ask any Jew you see walking down the street who is white, ask him if he's an Ashkenazi Jew, he'll say yeah, and he thinks it's European. Ask him how far it goes back. Well, yes, Europeans converted in and grafted in under that sect of the Ashkenazi. But the land of Ashkenazi, we already know where it goes. I'm going to end this video now. Do your research. Because what we do today, Google Hebrew Israelites. Go, uh, YouTube Hebrew Israelites. Your 144,000 ladies and gentlemen are already out there. Some of them left before the slave trade in the uh, 3rd, 4th, and 5th centuries. It didn't actually start in the 14th and 15th like we're told. It went before that. And these are your Indians of North America were the original, and of South America. 
the people that we call Latin Americans and the islands, the Haitians, these people came earlier. That's why you have pyramids in South America and some here in America that are smaller in these mounds. They were duplicating what they knew back in the old country, except remember, they forgot who God was. So they started worshiping the same gods and goddesses they were under judgment and punishment for. The world is in for a shock, ladies and gentlemen. This is important because today, the people of the world, Christians, and many others support an Israel that is not the true Hebrew Israelite descendants. These are the Rothschilds' plants. They killed those poor people during World War II under Hitler, who came from Austria also. And they used him and financed him. They never touched Switzerland with a hard asset, so they went around the entire nation. He plundered everything, but he never touched where it all really was, in Switzerland. He annexed Austria, because that's where the paper corps are for these people. And they migrated into Germany. Watch this migration going on now from the Middle East. Austria and Germany, is very questionable what's going on there. Because uh, we know that the new world center for these scum, evil ones, will be Baghdad for their corporations. And the seat of the throne of their master, the ultimate scum, will be in Israel. So my concern now is, but God hasn't revealed it, and I am a prophet of God. And I am a watchman of Ezekiel. And there are many of you who aren't aware you are yet, but you will be in days, not months or years. Thank you very much. I will make more videos in the next day, too, and wrap this up and bring this to a historical level on man's side. Because I'm also a historical scholar going back to Egyptian times, Roman times, Greece. All this is in prophecy. I post it on my wall constantly. Please come. Everybody's welcome. I'm public. You don't even need my friend to see and comment. But don't be commenting until you know and you've read and you understand and you stayed with God. You and God. Yahweh. Allah. Yah. Yahshua. The Christ. Jesus. Until you have researched these facts, please do not comment. Because you don't know. Research it, get on your face, and pray to God to open your heart, because He will. Because He's done it for this low-life scumbag, drug up in the patched earth. And if He did it for me, He's already told me, I'm nothing. You're more important than me. I'm going to die in this, and that's fine with me. What a privilege. I'm not going to bomb anybody. They're going to hang me in the end of this thing. And many like me. The watchmen will die. Please, please, find your Lord, find your God, and listen to nobody, not even me. Sift out the truth, it's there. Thank you, I love you all. Bye-bye.